What is the difference between a reef tank and a saltwater tank? First off, let's define both of those terms just so we're on the same page, and then we'll explore not only what they are, but also the differences in setting up and maintaining them. The term reef tank refers to a saltwater aquarium that specifically contains living corals and other photosynthetic marine organisms, a variety of invertebrates, and of course, fish, and ultimately emulates a reef ecosystem. The term saltwater tank, on the other hand, is a catch-all and covers all types of saltwater tanks, including reef tanks, fish-only tanks, predator tanks, seahorse tanks, macroalgae tanks, biotopes, the list goes on. So while saying saltwater tank is fairly ambiguous, I think what most people probably mean when they say that is a simple fish only tank. So for the rest of this video, that is what I'll be referring to whenever I say saltwater tank. Now, there are a lot of similarities between a simple saltwater tank and a reef tank, which makes perfect sense. They both start off as a tank and stand. They both have filtration powered by a pump. They both have a light, a heater for temperature control, substrate for the bottom, usually rock to create an aquascape or habitat for the fish. And of course, the major factor that sets them apart from a freshwater aquarium, they both need salt water mixed up using synthetic marine salt with a tool to measure the salinity. On the other hand, a reef Reef tank requires a light designed specifically to grow corals. It'll often have more filtration elements to keep the water parameters within a safe range for those corals. It'll have wave pumps within the tank to add the extra flow that the corals need. The substrate and the rock will be natural or made of natural materials and the aquascape built up with coral placement in mind. The salt mix that's used will often be specific to keeping corals and you'll want to mix it into RODI water and not tap water. You'll also have a number of additives for maintaining the water chemistry for those corals. I'm sure the theme is starting to appear. A reef tank really focuses on coral husbandry rather than the fish, and that includes the equipment and the maintenance. With a simple saltwater tank, you'll need to feed your fish, clean the algae from the glass, do a partial water change once every couple of weeks, and replace the filter media and clean the equipment every month or two. With a reef tank, you have all of that, plus you're also gonna be feeding your corals, testing a handful of parameters and dosing additives to maintain them. You'll often have a protein skimmer cup to empty out weekly and other filtration elements like reactors that will need tending to periodically. If you have an algae outbreak, you'll wanna rely on snails, crabs, fish, and manual removal to take care of it rather than an algicide since they tend to be harmful to corals and other invertebrates. But that's also what makes a reef tank such an amazing and captivating ecosystem to have. You get to to see all of these intricate and fascinating relationships between all of these different organisms right in your home. Brightly colored fish and fluorescing corals swimming and swaying in the flow, watching a tank full of small corals grow into a thriving reef and feeling that sense of pride and accomplishment and sharing it with your friends and family. And yes, you can also have a reef tank that's really simple and easy to care for. Soft coral dominated tanks are a really great example of just that. And starting off with a saltwater tank to get your feet wet and then converting it to a reef tank over time is also a great option. The best way to get your reefing journey started is by learning the basics so you know exactly what size tank, type of filtration, lighting, pumps, and other gear to get. And then how to pick the easiest fish and corals to start with so you can be successful the first time. And on that note, check out this five minute guide series on setting up your first reef tank. Ryan walks you through everything from picking up the tank itself to the fish and the corals and everything in between and start enjoying the reefing hobby. Don't wait, it's so much fun. We'd love to have you, me specifically. I need more reefing friends so I can justify to my wife that I'm not crazy.